I'm here at the BT Media and Broadcast stand just outside uh, IBC with Faisal. Faisal, good to be with you today. Thanks for joining us. Can you tell us what's new from BT Media and Broadcast at IBC this year? So over a number of years, BT have really been developing our end-to-end, glass-to-glass supply chain for content producers and broadcasters. And, and this year is the first year where it all comes together. Uh, the, the biggest word on our stand is Vena. Yeah. Uh, Vena is our smart broadcast network, and this connects our base connectivity with the cloud and a whole range of applications to enable broadcasters to have an end-to-end -end suite. Last year, we started rolling it out with a major broadcaster. This time this year, we've got a lot more customers, a lot more sporting organisations that are onto our network that we're rolling out across the country. Can, can you tell us who any of those might be? Are you able to share the names of any of those organisations or is that maybe something Sure, yeah, today? of course, I'm, yeah. I'm happy to. Yeah. Um, one of them is, is Racing UK, yeah. um, a key partner of ours for, for a number of years. Um, just recently also rolling out to all the Premiership Rugby um, across the UK. So what it also does is it creates a community across different organisations that can learn and share with one another. It's, it, the the industry is challenging, there's, there's a lot happening, there's a lot of developments and the better people can collaborate with one another, that's a real added value for what our platform offers. And what would you say are some of the trends that are shaping the way that content is captured and distributed as well? I, mean, I, I, I love sports like, uh, like everyone and I think as you see the way production is happening over a number of the years, it's changing. Even if we just take capture, you can capture content in so many different ways. Before it could have been just a camera, which was you know, walking around potentially a pitch. Now you have selfie sticks, you potentially have drones, uh, you have private footage. And how do you get all of that content into one place, live, edited, and back to millions around the world? And that type of content is a gold dust. And how as an organization can you help broadcasters and producers pull that together? So, so captures changing um, in, a quite, in a quite large manner. The second thing is, how do you then manage all these different devices that are capturing these elements? How do you deal with the different technology standards that they operate? How do you bring it all together? So while content is evolving, it's becoming a much more complex place. And, and what would you say, I guess related to that, what would you say are some of the challenges that are facing some of those broadcasters, federations, who are, who are tasked with capturing that content and getting it in front of viewers? I think there's, there's two elements to this and they're not mutually exclusive. Uh, one is cost and the other is a big part of sustainability. So with this complexity and how to get it all work, there are investments that are needed. As consumer demand changes, people are looking for new things. How do broadcasters look to do things, innovative things, in an economic way going forward? And alongside that, you know, we all want to be here in hundreds of years' time. So how do you then manage these workflows in a way that's best for the environment? I mean, you know, we saw a big explosion of remote production. And with remote production, initially you had your galleries in another location. But even that's evolving. So how do you make that more sustainable? So it actually helps the cost perspective and the environment in the longer term. Fantastic. Okay, well listen, thanks very much for, for taking the time to talk to us and best of luck for the rest of the show. Thanks, George.